Hello, everyone. Suwana Chuck here, continuing the lessons from the workbook of A Course in Miracles. And today um, we are on lesson 106. And it's the lesson is, let me be still and listen to the truth. If you will lay aside the ego's voice, however loudly it may seem to call, if you will not accept its petty gifts that give you nothing that you really want, if you will listen with an open mind that has not told you what salvation is, then you will hear the mighty voice of truth, quiet in power, strong in stillness, and completely certain in its messages. Listen and hear your father speak to you, his appointed voice, which silences the thunder of the meaningless, the meaningless ego, and show the way to peace to those who cannot see. Be still today and listen to the truth. Be not deceived by voices of the dead, which tell you they have found the source of life and offer it to you for your belief, attend them not, but listen to the truth. So when it says here, the voices of the dead, what it is uh, referring to here is, is the ego of others and the minds that are asleep and separated, separated from God. And, um, you know, the, the minds that are stuck in the, the ego stories and belief. So you might even want to ask yourself, where do you abandon your true self? You know, buying, buying into the ego beliefs of the illusion. You know, not living the truth, your true self. And, 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 caught, and where are you caught up in your, in your story? being a victim of circumstances with, with really no life. When there's no life, the opposite of no life is death. There really is no life in the ego. So it says, be not afraid to circumvent the voices of the world. Walk lightly past their meaningless persuasion. There's so much in the world to persuade us otherwise that we get distracted, get attracted to, get attached to, and all in that denying our true self. So go past all things which do not speak of him who holds your happiness within his hand held out to you in welcome and in love. Hear only him today and do not wait to reach him longer. Hear one voice today. Today, the promise of God's word is kept. Hear and be silent. He would speak to you. He comes with miracles a thousand times as happy and as wonderful as those you ever dreamed or wished for in your dreams. It's way beyond, way beyond anything that we can possibly dream in this illusion. His miracles are true. They will not fade when dreaming ends. They end the dream instead. They wake us up and last forever for they come from God to his dear son, whose other name is you. Perhaps yourself, prepare yourself for miracles today. Be open to the miracles. 
Today, allow your father's ancient pledge to you and all your brothers to be kept. Our divine inheritance is peace, is joy, is love, is abundance, is prosperity. That's a divine inheritance. And we block it out with the ego, with the ego identity that we created. And in our separation, we're always trying to, to find the solutions to our problems, being, again, separated from God. It's telling us here to listen for the voice that's going to give us the direction. We don't have to figure it all out. We only need to learn to listen. And this is what this lesson is teaching us or showing us or giving the opportunity for us to, to practice. It said, hear him today and listen to the word which lifts the veil that lies upon the earth and wakes all those who sleep and cannot see. It's the veil of the ego. God calls to them through you. He needs your voice to speak to them, to speak to those who are already asleep. We need to wake up en enough ourselves. And when we're awake, it's, it just flows easily out of who we're being. It wakes up others. It said, he needs your voice to speak to them. For you could reach God's son, but who could reach God's son except his father calling through yourself, your higher self, your holy self, your innocent self. Hear him today and offer him your voice to speak to all the multitude who wait to hear the word that he will speak today. It says, be ready for salvation. It is here and will today be given unto you. This is what's possible today. And you will learn your function from the one who chose it in your father's name for you. Listen today and you'll hear a voice which will resound, resound throughout the world through you. The bringer of all miracles has need for you, has need that you receive. You need to receive first. And thus become the joyous giver of what you received. So when we, re when we release all, you know, the ego, um, you know, release all our, all our brain blame, all our judgment, um, you know, all our uh, condemnation of self and others. When we're aware of that and when we release it to the, to the Holy Spirit is when the miracles occur. The Holy Spirit does the work to shift our perception. And it's saying here to receive those miracles. When we receive those miracles, what's present is love, is peace. It's all, it's all in, an inner job. This, this course is about inner peace. So it, it's about letting go of the ego thought system saying this over and over and over again because that's what we're caught up in they say even up to 90 95 percent of our thinking is caught up in the ego we're undoing that you know it's it's asking us to practice these lessons for five minutes an hour even five minutes a day as we read on you'll you'll see or hear that what five minutes makes uh what the difference it makes uh, in affecting the, 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 the whole world, it actually affects the whole universe. So thus does salvation start and thus it ends when you're open to receive, when I'm open to receive. When everything is yours and everything is given away, it will remain with you forever. Here, when every, everything is yours and everything is given away, there's no loss there. There's no lack. With God, God is everything. The ego is nothing. We've been investing in nothing. In the ego um, belief system that we've taken on. We're examining this ego belief system as we continue to do this work. 
and and learning to practice being you know rigorous and disciplined to practice letting it go when we recognize it's present so so the lesson's been learned so i'm going to read that again thus does salvation start and thus it ends when everything is yours and everything is given away it will remain with you forever and the lesson has been learned today we practice giving not the way you understand it now, but as it is, you're learning a new way of giving. Each hour's exercise should begin with this request for your enlightenment. I will be still and listen to the truth and ask, what does it mean to give and to receive? This is what we're really opening up to a whole new way of looking at giving. And the other aspect of it is, is being open to receive. It says ask and expect an answer. You know, that's ask and you will be given. You need to ask first. Ask and, and, and you'll be given and be willing, be willing to, uh, to be still, be willing to be still and in the stillness to receive the answer the truth. So your request is one whose answer has been waiting long to be received by you. This is what we've been longing for. It will begin the ministry, the ministry for which you came and which will free the world from thinking giving is a way to lose. We are, you know, we talked about this in the previous video. You know, the ego is gives to get now in in this giving it, it you know what is speaking of here is learning what giving and receiving what it is and they're actually one so it says and so the world becomes ready to understand and to receive so be still it says again be still and listen to the truth today for each five minutes Spent in listening, a thousand minds, a thousand minds are open to the truth. And they will hear the holy word you hear. You know, this is the, this here, the thousand minds are open to the truth. This is the impact. It's saying here that five minutes of listening, of being still will have. You know, this is the impact, you know, that, um, that this will have this will have on the sonship thousands of minds and when the hour is passed you will again release a thousand more in those five minutes who pause to ask the truth to be given along with you today the holy world word rather of god is kept through your receiving it and giving it away so you can reach the world or you can teach the world what giving means by listening and learning it of him. It says, do not forget today to reinforce your choice to hear. Choose to hear today. Really choose to hear and take those five minutes and be still and quiet your mind. Choose to hear and to receive the word by this reminder given to yourself as often as possible today. Be still and listen to the truth. I am the messenger of God today. That's your ministry. My voice is him, his to give what I receive. So, you know, to summarize this, um, you know, the purpose of this lesson uh, is, again, to lay aside the ego voice. You know, to lay aside your stories and to be still and listen. Listen to your father's voice. And then it's saying to offer, um, offer him your voice. So to use your voice then 
to speak to the, to all who need to hear his voice and to need to hear his word to hear the answers that that the answers that you in this stillness and 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 um in listening the answers that you are willing to receive in 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 that time you know just taking the time to do so you know and from there being in a, in a joyous, being a joyous giver, having received, you know, our, our true nature, which is love, peace, and joy, the miracle. So again, today, take this five minutes every hour to the best of your ability and practice, practice being still. Maybe you're not going to hear the voice right away. This all takes practice. I still practice this. I'm going deeper in it as I, you know, as I'm doing these lessons. Thank you. Thank you for being here with me. And, and as I, you know, reflect on these lessons and practice, you know, my commitment is, is deeper to truly take this time to be still and to hear the voice for God rather than the voice of the ego. Remember, the ego speaks loudly. It speaks very loudly. It's in the silence that you'll hear God. All right. Wishing you a, um, a receiving today of, you know, of the joy, of the love, and the peace. It is, it is our divine inheritance, divine inheritance. All right. I want to just say one more thing. Um, again, being open to receive because we can't give what we haven't received. And we have the opportunity as we practice this lesson and as we go forward to go deeper into understanding what this giving is all about that, that the course is teaching us. All right. Have a uh, blessed day, a miracle-filled day, a love-filled day. And um, I will be with you for the next lesson, lesson 107. And again, please, we so appreciate your liking, commenting. Even put a thumbs up in the comment um, below. And, um, and, and share this video out uh, to others. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It, it helps to build the algorithms or the algorithms are affected in the building uh, of uh, this community here uh, on uh, this YouTube channel for all of us who are on the path of A Course in Miracles. All right, with much love till the next video. Bye for now.